Hi, my name is Stephen Benson. Today's date is 17th of October 2016. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to grow hay cocks. I'm going to show you a little cheat first. These are some acorns I um, collected today. A little cheat is to trick acorns into thinking it's winter. Now, I swear to with this, it's the next shot first of all, to give them the sink test, the water test. As you can see there, quite clearly, they're sunk to the bottom. This means they're good for planting. If they float to the top, that means they've got air pockets in, the seed inside hasn't formed correctly, or you've got an insect what's buried in and cause them air pockets. They might air pockets generate, you know, growth of bacteria which eat away the seed inside and which are no good so you don't really want to waste your time trying to germinate the acorn. You can see this is a very good batch. Right, I think I've got plenty to go on with Very there. light covering. Like again, I'm using uh, earth wool. Very light covering. It is a form of insulation you don't want too much on. But if you use sawdust, you could literally just cover it with sawdust. And then, simply a gentle sprinkle of water. The idea with water is basically stop them drying out, stop them, you know, from um, getting likes of bacteria growth on them. So very slight. So all that'll sort through to the bottom. Keep them nice and malt, nice and wet, moist. Cover them. Yeah, you either be a container or use something else just to cover them. Drill a few holes in, just so air can get in and out. Now the trick is now, is to put them in the fridge. You want to be between three and four in the fridge. Leave them there, well, mid-December, and we should get germination. Now that is a little trick. Back to the old-fashioned method again, simply. Bit of soil in your pots. You've tested your acorns. Again, this is how you do conkers. You just want to be 20 to 30 mil below the soil. These will be left out over the winter. We should get germination for March, April next year with these. If there's a an heavy frost predicted through the winter, obviously you're going to keep these outside in a, in a covered area, but make sure you, you cover them properly if there's a heavy frost and to be fair it's as simple as this not hard and fast about growing acorns planting for the future for your local town or village whichever the case easy as that I just need a couple more simple water test again so basically I've got four in each container twenty and thirty mil deep slight watering the water again is just to keep them moist so no bacteria any bacteria growth on them keep the eye on these every week just make sure the water doesn't dry it up, just keep them nicely tempted with water. Like Same with the ones for the fridge. Every week check them. For more updates on how to grow acorns into a, an oak tree, uh, just please click on the subscribe button for updates at the bottom. Uh, my name's Stephen Benson and thank you very much. Thanks for listening guys.